Hi, I'm Ross. Welcome to the world of foodtravelmusiclove.com. Inspiration from the heart. This is also the hub of spot travel services and spot legal services. I'm going to show you around, let you know what sort of things we do. In early 2020, foodtravelmusiclove.com launched. So some of the projects that we've already done on the video side have started off over in Thailand. You'll notice from some of the videos that we work with restaurants, hotels, we will do work for tourist boards, for tourist attractions, anywhere that needs a bit of a boost to try and get things going. And especially at this time, with everything going on in the world, we really hope that we can try and have some positive impact. So, Spot Travel Services. Spot Travel Services started as Spot Hire in 1974. Started as a coach hire business. Uh, actually started by my father, Roger Young. 1974, long time ago. So things have changed a lot since then. We used to do taxis, minibuses, coaches. So on that side of things, we still have a couple of minibuses. So any private hire groups and trips and days out and things, we still do that kind of thing. But what we've done is we've kind of changed the business quite a lot really since 1974. And nowadays we've taken away the transport side of things, but we've built up a lot of experience in the transport side of it. So I'm kind of there to try and help other coach operators to try and build up their brand, build up their customer base and to maybe get their social networking going and help out with some advertising and promotion maybe with the aid of a video like this. So, spot legal services. This is something slightly different. I'm not a solicitor, I'm not legally qualified. I make a point of that in any of the literature and any promotional material that goes out on the website, everywhere you'll see that. I've sadly had a lot of experience in the UK court system from my own cases to do with the family courts and related small claims courts. I was probably in court 25, 26 times. So rather than let all of that experience go to waste, I've used that negative energy, if you like, to give me a bit of a boost and, and create something different for the business. So that's kind of what we're doing there. Spot Legal Services, we operate as a kind of a McKenzie friend style service. You could look that up, but it basically just means we can help with admin, we can help with support, we can help with a lot of the procedures. We're not allowed to give advice. We can appear in court and in court with a pre-authority from the judge we can occasionally talk on behalf of our clients as well. So we try and do whatever a solicitor does without all the fancy wording uh, and all the fancy costs. So no matter what you want to come and see us about you're more than welcome to come and visit us at the office. You'll see that we've got a nice leisurely kind of relaxing informal area, we've got the TV, we've got to put some music on, 
And this certainly helps when it comes down to the legal services side of things because it can be quite daunting, a lot of the things that people are going through. We try and create a complete opposite atmosphere to our solicitors. That's kind of what we're about. So, you know, we'll make you a cup of tea, nice biscuit, you can see everything's there, and it's all here at the office in Ashford. Obviously, if you're gonna come and see us here, it might be worth to try and call us ahead. Hello, it's got travel services. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we should be able to come to you then. Uh, yep, yeah, on the 12th. Okay, no problem. Yep, yeah, thank you. All right, bye-bye. Now something that we offer under the foodtravelmusiclove.com brand is the provision of music, the provision of songs, anything to go with your videos, whether we do the video or not, that doesn't matter, but we can write music specifically for your project or you can use some of the music that's already available. So here's a little idea of some of the work we've already done for other clients. So spring rolls first, are oh, they are red hot, they're straight out. That's how you need to have a red, uh, spring roll like that, then you straighten out the fryer. Bit of a dipping sauce. Mm. They are amazing, the spring rolls. They're really, really good. Lovely. Let's get some of this in there. Some of that broth. take many forms and not all abuse follows the same pattern. A lot of people will think, especially when it's male victim abuse, how can this happen? Especially if it's physical, a lot of these men are twice the size of the women. How can that happen? It happens through love. My partner suffered from anxiety, depression, OCD. I'm fairly sure she suffered from bipolar as well, although it was undiagnosed. And I tried to use these as excuses for what I was going through because she was going through those things. She also had various physical ailments which kind of added to the bitterness that she was feeling mentally. Um, and I totally understood that. I totally understand it now, even in retrospect. I understand all of the feelings as much as one can when it's somebody else. You know, you don't want to come across as patronising but you do your best to understand that. But what you do not want to do, and what I did, which was wrong, was to allow that to be an excuse for then what goes on. And that is not an excuse. It doesn't matter what somebody else is going through. 
if they start using that as a catalyst to abuse you, whether they mean to, whether they break down in tears afterwards or not, it has to be stopped. So any of you that have ever heard any of my music or watched any of my music videos, you'll notice maybe that there's a bit of a theme that runs through a few of them. Some of the songs I write are just complete creative writer. They just come from nowhere. But the ones that I'm kind of most proud of, the ones that I write that really come from the heart, really stem from this abuse that I went through. Dungeon S was probably my proudest songwriting moment and my saddest one. Now Dungeon S came out a couple of years ago and it is quite clearly a video and a song about calling it a day, giving up on life, suicide. There's no way of getting around it, that's exactly what it's about. One last drive, one last time, giving up the fight, the tunnel shows a light, homeward bound, far from home, I'm on my way. Did I love the person that was abusing me? Yes more than I've loved anyone at all other than my beautiful little girl. Was it hard, therefore, to think about it and talk about it? Incredibly, incredibly hard. Incredibly hard. It's taken me a few years to get to the point of looking into a lens to talk about it. But if you have to do anything like that, whatever you've got to do, do it. Write it down. Film it. Write a song about it. You know, whatever it takes. Talk to people. Has it affected me? Ongoing? Yes, it really has. It's taken a lot out of me and it's affecting the way I behave now with future, honest, decent, good people. So do whatever you can. Do whatever you can and get out of that vicious circle. Whether you're a man, whether you're a woman, you're worth more than being abused by anybody at all. So on behalf of the team at Spot Travel Services and Spot Legal Services, I'll say thank you for watching from myself, Ross, at foodtravelmusiclove.com, inspiration from the heart. I know that I'm not blameless, but I'm not to blame. I play the role of all participants in your game. I could have opted out, but where's the fun in that? You're as bad as me, and you know that's a fact. I couldn't leave, I couldn't leave her when I wanted to. You couldn't leave, you couldn't leave, you know that that's the truth. Yeah, yeah. I like the feeling of the chase. Yeah. I like the feeling of the chase. You say that you're not playing.